Okay guys, so let me show you how to upload a PDF file to your WordPress installation. So for this, we go to our WordPress dashboard and from here, we're going to go to our media library. So I'll click on media and then library. And as you can see, these are all the pictures, icons and files that are being used on our website. And from here, we can add a new one. So click add new, select files, and now select the PDF file that you'd like to upload on your website. So I'll click open. And as you can see now, it's uploaded fully on our website and we have it right here. If you click on it, you can open it, have a preview of the content of your file. And by the side, you can see we have a link here. So this is basically the link that's going to go straight to that file. So if you copy this link, just like that, and you open a new tab, if you add this into the address bar and hit enter, as you can see, it will open the file automatically for us. We'll have a direct preview in our web browser. Okay, now let me show you how you can insert that onto a web page and make it either downloadable or as a direct link and open it in a different tab like we just did at the moment. So if I close this now, so this is our sample website. And what we could do, for instance, is make this button here clickable. And when you click on it, you'll download the file automatically. And then I'm going to show you a second method by using a text link as well that someone could either open it or download it. So let's go ahead with this. For this, we go back to our WordPress dashboard. Okay, and before I go to the next step, just make sure you copy this link. There you go. You can close that window now and we go to our pages. So let's open our homepage, edit. Very good. And from here, we're going to take care of our button. So I'll click on this. And now we want to link that file to that button as an action. As you can see, we have an icon here. If you hover on top, it says link. Click on this and now paste the URL that we just copied. So control V. Don't forget to click that small arrow to submit. There you go. And now ideally, if your visitors go on your website and click on that button, you want this to open a new tab, a separate tab. So toggle switch here, enable this and then click update. Now we can go back to our homepage, refresh our page. And now if we click on start here, it will open up a new tab for us with our PDF file. Okay, very good. So this is method number one. So let me show you the second method now. So we can go back to our homepage here and let's scroll down. And I'm going to show you how to turn this text into a link that you can either open or download the PDF file. And for this, we're going to highlight the text that we want to link. So like this. And as you can see, we have our icon here for the link. Click on this. And from here, we're going to paste our link. So make sure that you select open in a new tab and then click submit. There you go. And click update. Very good. And now if we go back to our homepage and refresh, if we scroll down, you can see now if I hover on top, we can see clearly this is a link. If I click on this, it will open our PDF file in a separate tab. Now I'm going to show you how to turn this link into a downloadable link immediately. So let's go back here. Okay, and first we're going to change the link itself. So click on this, edit. And as you can see, we have a full blown URL here. So HTTP and your URL and all that. Remove the beginning of that URL right up to forward slash WP hyphen content and then save that. And from here, we're going to edit our options. You can see those three dots on top of each other's here. Click on this and then edit as HTML. And this is basically the HTML code behind that link. And as you can see, we have a href tag, which is basically the HTML equivalent of a hyperlink. And from here at the very end of our tag, right here, we're going to add a little bit of code. So just type in download equals followed by air quotes. And in between those air quotes, you're going to copy and paste this file name. So sample hyphen files dot PDF. So control C, control V, and now click again on the option button here and then edit visually and then click update to save. Now we can go back to our homepage and if we refresh, we can click on this link now. And as you can see, we can now download immediately our file onto our hard drive and that's it.